Hello everyone. In the third and last video, we are going to see the extra controls such as cheek, chin for our facial rigging. To do that, let me create the geometry, rename it as face extras geo. Inside again I have just merged the main face geo. Now let me hide the main face geo go to the side view and create a simple bone and rename it as face extra bone let me create another bone and a null for that and rename it as cheek with the point snapping let me snap it somewhere over here let me duplicate it by holding the alt key and then left mouse button for the chin and snap it near the chin area by duplicating this null let me create a controller change the box and resize it and change the color let me copy the translate of the controller and paste it to the bone now if we move the control obviously the respective bone also gets moved now it's time to capture the geometry with the same region type select the geometry accept selection now select the individual bones accept the selection now it has got captured if you see inside the network once you select the bone capture you can see the capture region you can edit this with the edit capture region for head it's fine and for the cheek the same way you have to resize it by holding the shift key on those arrows we can also change the color for these influences by changing the bones color Yeah, now you can see the difference now we have to change the capture caps yeah the basic part has done let's check with the control if we move the control you can see the influence again we can change this influence in the real time itself with the edit capture region and for the cheek the same way we can adjust it We can also change the influence to smoothen this with the capture layer paint. Let me smooth this. You can also add bones for nose or wherever you want. Add it in this extra regions and you can start tweaking it. The same way you can also paint chin part also now I should make the controls to follow so let me take the chin control and parent under to the jawbone oh I should 
check on this key position when parenting no yeah no it's following but there is no deformation so i should get the face extras geo inside this main geo so i'm doing the same process through object merge but before that let me add the null and rename it as face extra geo out now if you select this and plug into this plane shape add the instance in the plane shape node for the new one now if you move the control it works but if you see the cheek part the control needs to follow according to these deformations with the help of the rivet so i'm going to create another setup as like the main one by copying those geometry and the bones and pasting it over here and renaming it as for rivet but if you see over here we didn't get the same influence we can update this inside the network we don't need this plane shape let's recook the main captured informations in this stash node let's update the stash input if you check we can see the same influence of what we had achieved in the main setup now let me create another geometry node for the reverse position and say that let me create the object merge now connect this rivet bone deform into this object merge now i need the point where we had placed the controller so if you see over here the point number is 650 so let me add blast node and change the group type to point and mention the exact point as 650 you can see the point over here now let me create a box now i need to copy this box for that i need copy to point first input is geometry copy another one is target points to copy if you see at the exact point the box has got placed let me resize it yeah let me rename this as rivet position geo now let me rename this left cheek rivet position now let me add the rivet now you can see a null at the origin now i should place at that exact point so let me select the cheek rivet position now i need to mention the points in the points group parameter to do this if you see in the box display the points point numbers which has eight points which starts from 0 to 7 so i'm going to mention is so in say this we can place the rivet if i move this now the you can see the box is getting moved with the help of the rivet now let me make the control to follow connect the null under the rivet hide the display now if i enable the main geometry there's no effect because the main rivet geo 
is not moving so let me copy the rotation of this jar and paste it to the rivet bone uh, since we have simply copied the animation keys also got copied let me delete it paste in the parameters now if we move you can see the control also getting moved and the deformation also you can see you can also place many number of rivets over here whenever see if there is a control for the forehead if the eyebrow gets moved those controls also needs to move so you can also do another setups through curves those curves gets captured and then blends to the master curve and that master curves geometry blends to the main geo so there are many steps here just i've shared these steps hope you enjoyed it thank you